Hello, Pisces. Thank you so much for stopping in. This is your Astro Oracle report for the month of May of 2024. Again, this month, we're giving you four segments. We're giving you the underlying energy for the month. We're giving you an overall message for the month of May of 2024. Uh, we're going to ask the cards to give you an idea of what you need to know most and um, how to navigate the month easier. And the fourth segment is we're going to ask the cards, uh, the animal cards, to get a message for you from the animal kingdom. Uh, please like my video and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. What does, what's the underlying energy for the sign of Pisces for May of 2024? Let's see. Pisces, you are on a very smooth path. If it has been a little difficult, it's going to smooth out. You are at a point where you are don't you are to define your destiny. You are at a point where you are to define define your destiny. You become the map maker. Because it is your destiny, it is your life, and it is your map. You need to make your map. Because it is the map of your destiny. The words say authentic purpose, inspiration, and free will. You always have free will. You always have free will. And you have given up at a certain point in your life. You have given up where your purpose, where your passion for your purpose was. And now you're going to regain that. You're going to remap your life. This is a time to remap your life. Because you have the ability to say what you want. You have the ability now to sit back, look at the page, and map it out. From that, it says reshape what you sow. You, you reap what you sow. What is it that you want to reap? What does, where does your map lead you? That's a tough, tough question sometimes. It's a tough question in life sometimes where, but you are being offered the opportunity to create the map that is your destiny. And you have the power of, of your thinking to ignite what it is that you do what it is that you put your attention to. You do have to strategize. You do have to have some strategy involved in that. So it's not just a random off the cuff, cuff you do it in a couple of minutes map. You are being offered an opportunity at this time in your life to authenticate your purpose. To strategize your path. To know what you want to grow. I think this is the most fabulous opportunity to have. If your life is going good, if your life is not going so good. Both ways. That is an awesome opportunity. Because you also have that ability. You have to trust yourself. You have to trust yourself. So you need to give yourself the time to trust, the time to sort out what it is that you, what you're putting on your map. This is a life map. This is not a year by year, um, uh, what you want map. I can't think what it's called. This is your opportunity to reset your future. Take everything that you've learned up to this point. Take the goods and the bads. Take the heartaches and take the joys. 
everything counts because you're being offered to make your own map for your destiny. Where do you want to go? That is not, that is a big responsibility. <laughs> That's a big responsibility for you. And it is, it takes, it will take some time. Take the time you need. Don't rush it. Let things fall into place. Think of what, think of where you want to go. And then consider, is this really, is this really what I want to do? Take your time. Be discerning. Because wherever you put, whatever you put on your map, you're going to get. So you need to know that. And you also have to know that you get it in your right time and in the right, the right timing and for your right, your best good. However, it comes to you. But you need to know what your map needs to at least know where to start. Okay, so the overall message for Pisces for the month of May of 2024, you will be surrounded in a very nurturing energy. It's full of love. It's full of energy that um, universe wants you to be surrounded with. And you will be doing this on your own. It's a new start. You will be doing this for yourself and on your own, even though you're everything else that goes on around you. You're not eliminating other things from your life. You are making them better. But the overall energy all the way around. And it's the cup. You're, you're starting new. You're creating what it is that you want. That's what you're doing. You're creating what it is that you want. But it's bigger than that because it's your destiny. It's not just what you want materialistically. It's not just what you want in a relationship or in a job. It is your destiny and that is different than what do I want? More money, more comforts, more joy. Oh yeah, all that. A nice relationship, a better relationship, a new relationship, um, a family. But it's your destiny. It's the bigger picture. That's why you are being advised to take your time. Take the time you need, but start. You can't let it go anymore. This is your starting point, your new start. It seems like uh, Pisces had a new start a while ago. Utilize it. It's it, You're getting another chance. You never run out of chances. But this is you're making your map for your destiny. The other thing that's coming to me right now is you can help other people map their destiny. You can help guide other people to encourage them to map out their destiny. Big, big opportunities. You have the sun coming up. The sun is coming up and starting to warm everything around you. And there's a freshness to your life. There's a youthfulness to your life, no matter how old you are. There becomes a youthfulness to your life because you start seeing the opportunities. You start seeing the, the, uh, the things that you want to put on your map of destiny. And it, sometimes you will battle yourself. You'll battle between the ego type energy, the just full energy, and the energy of having all that you want, having the sun energy and getting everything you want. So you have to balance all those things out. You have to consider all that stuff. Consider all the stuff. This is not a fast move. It's a new start. A new start. Another new start. You are starting to blaze your trail. You are starting your, you are starting your time to, um, it's all new. It's all up to you. You'll do it alone. But you're not alone. You've got universe helping you. You've got um, your guides helping you. You have the benevolent source of divine energy helping you. And then, and, and you set, and it, and it can be emotional. It can be emotional. 
to an emotional time because it is, it's your destiny, not something that you do real fast. You might feel like your things are kind of out of control, but maintain the control. Do not let things get out of control. Do not let, um, do not let emotional energy distract you away from your map making. Because once you allow you, once you get it all together, it all starts to be synchronous. Uh, there's the synchronicity in it becomes to, becomes a flow for your benefit, for your destiny. And your the roots that you set. And um, this um, this is telling me that you will in your in this pursuit, in this movements that you're making, you will be the teacher. You will be the teacher to yourself, or you will find the teacher that you're looking for. You will type, you will find the your master teacher, your own spiritual guide master teacher if you have not met that energy yet if you have not met your spirit master teacher that's coming that master teacher can help you guide you along with your map making for this for your destiny that is very powerful your master teacher is just waiting to come in and help you your master teacher knows exactly what you had wanted in this lifetime and will help you design, help you spiritually, help you get your destiny mapped out. Because your personal guide master teacher, they know they know what you want. And if you're listening and you're in tune, you have to be listening, you have to be in tune. You will still you will feel the guidance, you will feel that the 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 stability. And be able to put in those things. Um, and just remember there is timing in everything. There's good timing, and the timing is appropriate for you that best suits your life path and your soul growth. Uh, this is the card that came up, it's the star card. And once again, all of the things that you have done creates um, the star energy. Everything is laid out so that you can benefit from it. It's beneficial energy. It says happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. You're mapping out your destiny and you have the star energy that tells you you're, you will to, to make the positive changes, take, take the time to make your positive changes or positive thoughts, optimistic thoughts, because it is a long-term plan. Um, and then it says that plans, you know, you'll, you can make your plans, but you take the time to revise them. You take the time to put the idea out there. You trust that your master teacher guide is there guiding you along. You want to investigate certain things. You want to put certain things in your plan, in your map, your destiny map. You have to test them out. You have to think about them. You have to have them become either real or you adjust it. You either, you know, you put it on there, but then some of those things need revisions. Some of the things need to be changed. And you take the time to do that. That's part of the whole trend, the whole transition. And that ends the difficult, the difficult situation that you find your life navigating through. End of a difficult situation. So you are being offered a opportunity to choose what you put on your map now. If it doesn't, if it sounds good today and tomorrow you start thinking about it, then you revise it. 
you're doing this alone in a very loving environment. Your guide's divine source is all around helping you. That's that's the navigation part. They help you navigate. Just rely on on your discernment and rely on your the guidance around you and make the decisions. And if you have to adjust, then you adjust them. Okay, so the final segment is a message from the animal kingdom. What's this card we have for Pisces from May of 2024 from the animal kingdom? Okay. Let's see, it is the owl. The owl message is seek out deeper knowledge to see through deception. Because you will have to do that. You know, you will have to separate um, what you really want from what you think you want. You know, so sometimes we deceive ourselves. And um, after you have a chance to put it on your map, and then you realize, oh, that's not really what I want, then the, you were told earlier that you revise. So the owl is reconfirming that you deep thought into your into it into this project and that's the project of your destiny you let you um not only see it from a, a higher perspective you know flying over and seeing it you also have that wisdom the wisdom that the owl presents that, re that owl represents um that helps you think deeper so when you put that on your map of destiny, you have already thought about it. And then if you need to make some changes, cool, that's okay. But you have already approached it in that deeper knowledge, the, the more uh, knowledge from a wisdom point and your master teacher guide helps you. And that gives you that deep knowledge and the wisdom that you need. So if you still have put it on there and you need to change it perfect you've let you've wasted less time there's it's never a waste of time but you haven't spent a lot of time putting something erroneous on the map you've already put a deep put some deep thought into it some wisdom into it and then you you define it different you tweak it a little bit and you're closer and closer and closer to having your map set and walking your path, walking your life path, um, supporting your life, your soul growth. Uh, the next card was the dolphin. It says, tune into the rhythm of your breath to find the stillness and patience. And that's what it's going to take. It's going to take patience. It's going to take uh, trusting your inner energy, trusting your inner thoughts, trusting your intuition. That's what it's going to take. Because mapping your destiny is huge. It's not, this message for Pisces, if you have made it to this point in this video, if you've made it to this point and you're still listening, this is a very important time for you. You have this opportunity if you're young or if you're middle or if you're old, older. You are being told you have this opportunity. And look at his face. It's like, hmm, yeah, I got this opportunity. Because there's a lot of detail to it. It's very important. There's a lot of reasons for making a map. And this is even, that's from a map maker's point of view. He just loves doing it. And he wants you to know that you need to love doing your own map of destiny. Find it thrilling. Find the thrill in that. It's thrilling. It's exciting. And then it brings things to fruition. You've ended, you've, you've left a lot of stuff behind, but now you start and everything's ahead of you. I'm telling you, if you've made it to this point, this is really important. And you have the most fabulous opportunity of a lifetime right here this month that starts a whole 
a whole new life for you. Congratulations. That's awesome. Okay, so that was the message from the end. So that's it. Um, thank you so much for stopping in. Um, have a good month. And make this is a fabulous opportunity for you to take advantage of. So have a good time doing it. Have enjoy doing it. Uh, like my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And congratulations for making it to this point of your life. It's really going to be fantastic. So um, please stay tuned because there is a lot more to come. <laughs>